Budočnost travelled to Shiroki and started really, really well, scoring the first 11 points of the game, mainly through Vitkovac and Chapin, both amassing 16 points each eventually. All of that was, of course, enough for Damir Bujanovic, the home team's coach, to take an early timeout. All in all, it took nearly four minutes for Shiroki to score, courtesy of Boris Barac, who had 13 points in the end. But the visitors kept on playing well and after Popovic's three, the lead had already grown to 12 points with the home team managing only five. It stayed that way all the way till the end of the half when Buducnos had already reached a 16-point advantage. 12 out of 14 Shiroki's shots went begging in the first 10 minutes. After Alexa Popovic was the first one to score in the second period, the lead had grown to 18 when finally the home team started waking up. Here's Boris Baraj closing the gap to 13. A new problem for Shirky arose when Franco Castropil was forced to leave the court after receiving a heavy punch to his nose. Jalil Akindele was punished with an unsporting foul. Shiroki did take advantage of the situation and scored eight consecutive points and it was only 30-23 after Kacic's points. The end result of the first half was set by Jonathan Jones as he hit a three in the last second to make it 34-28. But Buducnos then again opened well at the start of the second half and after six consecutive points by Alexander Chapping, the gap again opened to 16 points. Chapping was instrumental in the next Buducnos' scoring run, after which the visitors has raised the bar even higher to 21. With Jones's five points, Shiroki cut the deficit to 16, but that was again followed by Buducnos' scoring spree. Alexa Popovic rounded up an 8-2 run, which took the visitors to a new highest lead of 22. It was 64-45 after 30 minutes of play. On the night, Buducnos was simply too good for Shiroki. Akindele was at his best. He was the best player in the last quarter. At some four odd minutes till the end, the Montenegro champion raced away to a 25-point lead, which meant the match, of course, was all but decided. Shiroki was at least able to cut the deficit at least a little, as the guests did step up the gas pedal a little bit, Tomislav Petrovic in the end managing to reach 16 points, but of course it wasn't enough to prevent a third win for Buducnost. <laughs>